Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeel. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has ratified and issued Law 4 of 2018, Law 5 of 2018, and Decree 11 of 2018. Law 4 of 2018 stipulated the ratification of the agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain's government and the government of the United States of America regarding international tax compliance and the enforcement of the Foreign Accounts Tax Compliance Agreement, FATCA, signed on Man in Manama rather, on the 18th of January 2017, attached with this law tasking the Prime Minister and each of the ministers according to their domain to implement the provisions of this law, which becomes effective from the next day following the date of its publication in the official gazette. Law 5 of 2018 stipulated the ratification of the amended protocol of the agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain's government and the government of the Philippines Republic regarding dual tax avoidance and prevention of tax evasion regarding income and capital taxation. Signed in Manama on the 13th of April 2017 and attached with this law tasking the Prime Minister and each of the ministers according to their domain to implement the provisions of this law which becomes effective from the next day following the date of its publication in the official gazette. Decree 11 of 2018 stipulated the establishment and organization of the Rapid Response National Ambulance Center, affiliated to the Interior Minister, regulating its management duties, powers, policies, standards, budget, expenditures, goals, and tasking the Prime Minister and each of the ministers according to their domain to implement the provisions of this decree, which becomes effective from the next day following the date of its publication in the official gazette. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadaybiya Palace. The President of the Bahrain Basketball Association, the BBA, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, along with members of the Board of Directors. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister held the efforts exerted by the BBA President in terms of developing the sports of basketball, which is considered one of the popular sports in Bahrain. His Royal Highness also expressed his pride in the successes achieved by the basketball Bahraini teams and the high performance levels that contributed to the kingdom's elevated reputation in various regional and international competitions. His Royal Highness continued to stress the importance of sports and directing the energies of young people towards activities that promote health and instate the value of patriotism. He also pointed out that the government is keen to take care of the sports sector through many programs and initiatives that motivate citizens and residents to have sports activities be a major part of their daily lives. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa expressed his sincere thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Premier for his, un rather for his unwavering support to the sports scene, particularly to the sport of basketball, affirming that His Royal Highness's care contributed to the elevation of the sport on both the local and the internal arenas. His Highness also expressed pride on behalf of the Bahrain basketball team as the championship bears the name of Khalifa bin Salman Basketball Championship, which is an incentive for all participating teams to achieve this prestigious title. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received a photo album containing a documentation of events from the second edition of the Khalifa bin Salman Basketball Championship, which was held recently. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited the residence of the Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain to participate in the celebrations of the National Day of Kuwait, where he was received by the Ambassador Sheikh Azam Al Mubarak Al Sabah. The Prime Minister hailed the deep rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait. He emphasized his keenness on celebrating this occasion with the brothers of Kuwait to express appreciation and pride in the leadership, government, and people of Kuwait for their honorable stances and support of joint Gulf and Arab action under its wise leadership. His Royal Highness also hailed the noble humanitarian initiatives adopted by Kuwait. He added that the celebrations of Kuwait are that of Bahrain, praising the fraternal relations that are based on brotherhood and understanding. His Royal Highness also expressed pleasure with the course of Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations, praising their continuous development at all levels in light of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The Premier congratulated His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, its Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and Kuwait's Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Jabr Al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah, as well as the people of Kuwait on this national occasion, wishing them further progress and prosperity. 
His Royal Highness praised Kuwait's advanced level of development and its numerous outstanding achievements. He affirmed that Kuwait's political and economic achievements are an asset to the Gulf system and that its policies that support peace as well as regional and international stability are highly respected by the international community. He commended the support of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait to Arab and Islamic causes and its humanitarian initiatives which have been honored by the United Nations. His Royal Highness expressed the Bahraini community's pride in the honorable stances of Kuwait in support of Bahrain's security and stability and for the development efforts adopted by the kingdom which reflect the strong relations between the two brotherly countries. For his part, the ambassador of Kuwait to Bahrain expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for attending Kuwait's National Day celebrations. He affirmed his keenness on bolstering bilateral relations, commending His Royal Highness to Prime Minister's status. He noted the continuous development of the Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations in all fields in light of the support of the two countries' leaders. A poem was recited by the Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations and the role of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. هذا خليفة نعرفه باتخاذ الغرار له وقفة حزة لازم تسر النطين كلمته تحسب لها أعظم طوال العمار خطابه هسمة من الشلفة وحد الشطير سلام من دار أخو مريم عزيز الوقار دار تشوف بملامحها تباشير خير أم الجمايل ذر المضيوم أرض النهار لضيوفها تملي الكفين مسك وعبيد دايم تشوف الرضا والصلح أفضل خيار وبحضنها كل كائن حي يمسي غرير والعيونها ما نساومها نبيع العمار وبعيدها نفرش الدنيا زور وحرير من أولوياتها رمز السلامة شعار هذه وصية أبو ناصر سمو الأمير صباح مجد العروبة فالأمور الكبار ما للكبار انشد التاريخ غير الكبير والله أنا يسرني اليوم أن أكون مشارك معاكم في هذا اليوم المبارك يا بنتي أعيادكم أعيادنا وأفراحكم أفراحنا وإن شاء الله الله يوفقنا لخدمة بلداننا وشعوبنا أما الكويت فإن شاء الله الكويت سالمة وقوية 
قيادة صاحب السمو وحكومة الرشيدة والله يوفقنا إن شاء الله لخدمة شعوبنا وبلداننا In the presence of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the West Asian Athletics Association and president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Athletics Association organized an athletics festival for children under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sheikh Khalifa Sports City yesterday. His Highness Sheikh Khalid attended with his sons the Children's Athletic Festival. In the presence of the Governor of the Northern Governorate, Ali Al Asfur, the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Askar, and other officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid toured the stadium and met children and parents. His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid honored all the participants in the festival. At the end of the festival, the Bahrain Athletics Association presented a gift to both His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure at the success of the festival and the accompanying activities and various competitions. His Highness stressed that the Athletics Festival for Children is one of the most important events that the Bahrain Athletics Association organizes annually as the festival aims to create a promising generation of athletics. He added that the Athletics Festival has been reaping success after success each year thanks to the efforts of the association. He praised the competitions and accompanying events that attracted large numbers of children. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation to all the committee's efforts to ensure the success of the festival. He also thanked all the partners and stressed that all these joint efforts resulted in the success of the festival. The Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Council for Education and Training Development, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, patronized today the graduation ceremony of the fifth and sixth batches of the Bahrain Teachers College held at Sheikh Abdul Aziz Hall at the University of Bahrain in Sakhir in the presence of the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, and a number of guests. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed pleasure in patronizing the ceremony, affirming the importance of teachers for their noble role. 
He added that the ceremony also celebrates the 10th anniversary of the college, which represents one of the education and training development initiatives in the framework of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak stated that the graduation enhances the college's role in the teacher's qualification field. He congratulated the graduates, wishing them success in serving their country. During the ceremony, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, the President of the University of Bahrain, Professor Riyal Yusuf Hamza, the Ministry of Education's Assistant Undersecretary for Human Resources, President of the Bahrain Teachers College, Dr. Mohammed Mubarak Jum'a, and the college's Dean Ted Purinton gave speeches in which they affirmed the important role of the college in creating trained and qualified teachers to enrich education in the kingdom. The Deputy Prime Minister honored the graduates. The Council of Representatives held its weekly session today, chaired by its Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah. The Council discussed and approved a draft law amending Law 74 for the year 2006, 
on the care of rehabilitation and employment of people with disabilities and referred it to the Shura Council. The Council also discussed and approved the proposal amending Law 14 of 2002 on exercising political rights and also approved the proposal amending Law 27 of 2005 on education. The meeting approved Decree Law 25 of 1998 regarding private educational and training establishments. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Family and the Bahraini Government and People on the 17th anniversary of the National Action Charter, the NAC, and Bahrain Defense Forces Golden Jubilee. The Council today held its regular session, chaired by the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, affirming that the NAC anniversary brings back with pride His Majesty's wise vision and evokes the true atmosphere of national solidarity under the leadership of His Majesty the King to lead the Kingdom to further development and progress. The Council congratulated the leadership on the occasion of inaugurating the late Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mosque in Awali. The Council recalled the role of late Sheikh Salman bin Hamad in serving Islam and Muslims and in laying the foundations of the modern development of the country. The Council hailed the leadership support to mosques and places of worship, commending the government's keenness on expanding their construction and reconstruction in various regions of the Kingdom. The Customs Affairs has been working on providing outstanding customs services to enhance its role in supporting the national economy. In this context, the Customs Affairs inaugurated the electronic payment systems to pay customs duties. The Customs Affairs inaugurated at its customs exits the electronic duties payment system in the contest of its 2017-2020 strategy of providing outstanding customs services for facilitating traveling and legitimate trade, enhancing the kingdom's security and community protection, and providing better custom services in terms of quality and cheaper in terms of competitiveness. The Finance Resources Department has implemented a project of installing seven cash collecting machines distributed to customs exits around the kingdom. These machines facilitate the cash collection process at custom exits for beneficiaries. This stems from the Customs Affairs strategy of facilitating traveling and customs operations. The e-payment system allows a customs broker or importer to pay online as seven interactive kiosks have been provided at all exits. The kiosks also provide additional services such as payment for telecommunication companies and a number of ministries. There are two custom taxes payments methods, through machines installed at the customs exits or online, through direct payment at the customs clearance offices. The two new payments methods save time and effort for custom brokers and traders. The e-payment kiosks accept payments in Bahraini dinars and Saudi rials to a maximum of 500 Bahraini dinars per transaction. The customs exists no longer accept cash payment from customs employees following the payment system change, which resulted in saving time and effort in the collection process and deposit in banks. The staff involved in receiving cash payments prior to the installation of the kiosks have been assigned administrative roles. Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and starting with the local stocks, as the Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,344.57 points, marking an increase of 11.84 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and services sectors. Investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 94% of total shares. 115 transactions included 62,806,242 shares worth 8,234,094 Bahraini dinars. Bahrain Bourse announced signing a memorandum of understanding with Bahrain Fintech Bay on the 18th of February 2018 to endorse the launch of Bahrain Fintech Bay BFB. 
CEO of Bahrain Bars, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the chairman of Bahrain Fintech Bay, Mr. Maysan Jalal Al Masqati, signed the agreement as the supporting partner. Bahrain Bars will work closely with BFB in support of developing the fintech ecosystem in Bahrain, exploring the latest financial technologies conductive to the growth of local and regional capital markets, and encouraging innovation in this field. Bahrain Bars can offer fintech startups and entrepreneurs a unique platform looking to access capital markets, particularly through the new launched Bahrain investment market. The BFB platform and offering is set to create ideal conditions to attract both local and international corporate innovation labs and fintech startups to collaborate on developing, testing, scaling and deploying new technologies in Bahrain and the wider GCC region. Central Bank of Bahrain Governor Rashid Al Ma'raj said the economic growth in the Kingdom of Bahrain could accelerate thanks to the recovery of oil prices since the middle of last year, 2017. According to the news agency Reuters, in the words of the governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, he cautioned at the same time that the government should be cautious about the budget deficit. The governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, CBB, on the sidelines of an investment conference on the Gulf economies in Manama, said it was only a matter of time before the Kingdom of Bahrain began to work on value-added tax to boost state revenues. The organizing committee of the Bahrain Shopping Festival, Shab Bahrain, has revealed that the fourth edition of the festival has achieved record highs. The value of purchases for this year reaching to 90 million Bahraini dinars compared to more than 8 million dinars last year. The festival attracted more than 122,000 visitors. Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, Chief Executive Officer of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, said at a press conference that the growth of interest in festival over the years has contributed to enhancing the kingdom's reputation as the center of and for outstanding family events across the region and a unique national event. The relations of coordination and cooperation between the public and private sectors and achieve success for all parties involved.